So the first um, thing about meditation is um, people ask me, should I have my eyes open or um, closed? And I guess you can do whatever is, is most um, comfortable. So let's say we close our eyes and then see if you can find a posture that's kind of embodying wakefulness and alertness, but at the same time is relaxed. So you want to have a straight back, but you also want to relax your shoulders and let your hands rest where it feels comfortable. See if you can relax the muscles of your face. Just let, gently release and let go of any tension that might be there. Allowing your attention to initially just drop down from your head into your body, becoming aware of the fact that we are embodied. We spend so much of our time in our head, worrying, fixing, planning. Let's see if we can come down with our awareness into our body. Maybe become aware of the, the breathing. And just feeling the sensations of air flowing in and out of the body. You can rest your attention on the breath, kind of like a, like a piece of cork bobbing up and down the surface of the ocean, following the, the rhythm of the waves, breathing in, breathing out. And then we can go from that um, more focused attention on the breath and allow our attention, our awareness to become more broad, more open, more panoramic. So that's in the metaphors we introduced in the beginning, the metaphor of a stage in a theater, or the metaphor of a clear blue open sky. If you can watch your mind in that way. And everything that arises in the mind that comes into the space of awareness. There would be thoughts and memories, sounds, emotions, tactile sensations from the body. And whatever it is, if you can just watch it, observe it, you know, like that person sitting in the audience of the theater and watching actors and props appear. You don't run up on stage and engage with the actors and try them to do, have them do this or that or the other or go away. No, you're just 
sat in the audience watching. See if you can bring to this experience a sense of curiosity and interest of warmth and openness. So whatever comes up, everything is welcome. Maybe a thought comes that triggers irritation or sadness or joy. Just see them come, stay for a while, and then melt away. And sometimes you'll find that you've been kidnapped by a thought. It's like the thought has thrown you in the trunk of his car and, and you know, drove off to somewhere in the past or the future, and you just off we go. So if that has happened, see if you can just gently bring your attention back. Broaden your awareness. Allow whatever arises to arise. And to um, round off this short meditation, I will just encourage you to maybe bring this kind of exercise into daily life. Let's say you're standing in the line at the supermarket and your line is, or your queue is, is moving much slower than all the other ones because that's always what happens. So if you can take that opportunity to, instead of, just be annoyed and irritated with what's going on around you. See if you can just turn your gaze inwards. So you follow a few breaths and then you open up your awareness to whatever is happening in your mind. Watching all these stories and thoughts and ideas and emotions and impulses. Kind of like being a scientist of your own mind. Maybe you spend 30 seconds or five minutes. Um, but doing that a few times per day can really have a huge impact on, on your whole experience. It might create a greater sense of ease and spaciousness. It may, might make things less heavy. So, um, yeah, that's an encouragement from you or from me to you to bring this kind of exercise, this habit of watching the mind just into daily life because it can really have a big impact. Okay, and with that, we can open up our eyes and again turn our gaze and our attention outward and re-engage with the rest of our days with wherever you are. I'm in Australia, so um, I'm at the end of my day. 
Um, some of you uh, are at the beginning of yours, so I um, wish you a really good one. <laughs>